Greetings Chew.tv fam. Doing a little demonstration of using advanced settings on Chew with OBS software. So if you don't have an account, you're going to need one of those. You can set up a new show by clicking your name and new show from the drop down menu. Pretty simple. From here, you'll be given some simple steps to follow. First, you want to install the software of your choice. In this case, it should be Open Broadcast Software. Once you have it in the proper location, open the program and click Settings. Here we can make a few things easier for you in the beginning. By setting up individual profiles, you can save settings to different profiles and switch between them. For example, I stream on my channel, I stream on Baseport.fm, and I stream on the Chew Residence channel. In the encoding, you'll find your video and audio encoding. Your max bitrate should be set to around 1500, and I use the MP3 codec. There is an optional AAC, but MP3, lower data, it saves your upload speed, better connection to Chew, all the good stuff. You can also set your bitrate higher than 192. The lowest it goes, 48. The highest, 320. So if you're a bit of an audiophile and your connection is robust enough to handle it, and so are the Chew servers, then you can set your bitrate much higher. Our next step is in the broadcast settings. You'll set the first mode to live stream, streaming service to custom, and you'll find your FMS URL on the Chew.tv advanced setup page. You can click the copy button and paste it right in. I've already got my play path slash stream key in there. It's the one that they give you right here by stream name. There's a copy button you'll click as well and paste it right in there. The final settings will change are in the audio settings. Set the desktop audio device and the microphone auxiliary device to whatever devices you need. If Tractor or Serato are playing out of your computer, you can set it to whatever the desktop audio should be. Additionally, you can have a separate microphone and auxiliary audio device line in. I send all of my vocals and music on the same channel, so I don't use my desktop audio while I'm streaming. That's it. On this end, we are ready to connect to Chew. Down here, we'll see the two audio channels. This is my computer audio. I can adjust it by clicking and dragging. And this is my microphone audio. I'll get it really quiet, and then, and then I'll come back. So we are ready to broadcast the Chew, according to my other panel, where I am streaming right now. But before you go live, you want to add some more stuff to your stream, because honestly, you're not looking at anything yet. You'll start by adding a scene and sources. So I'm going to add my webcam first. That's under video capture device. There's an option to name the source. I named them rather simply. It, also, it, it automatically selected my webcam from the list and now I can add it and I'm huge on the screen. Hey! So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna shrink myself really quick. Nice. I did that by clicking the edit scene button. You should see it just below settings. Red box appears around the source that you've selected, and you can downscale it, move it. You can also change which layer it appears. By, cl by right clicking and clicking order, you can move it up, down, top, or bottom. If you've ever used Photoshop, these are the exact same things. It's going to move that underneath, but you can still hear me. And now I can move it on top. And you can see me, yay! I, on my channel, I typically use an overlay. That's something that I made in Photoshop with transparency. The transparency part is important because otherwise you can't really see what's beneath it. And you want your overlay to actually sit on top of everything else so you can hide some blemishes with technology that way. That's as simple as having an image and I'll tile it overlay. Click browse, find your image. Let's see, I'll use my personal one since this is my personal channel. And there we have it. It's transparent, you can see the bits. You can see that my overlay is clearly over my webcam. I can move that into place if it's not so stubborn. Perfect. And the fact that it's actually over the edges um, kind of benefits me a little. Let's see, can I move this over here? Is that, is that going to be cool? Okay, perfect. You can see it. With that scene enabled, you can see that the red square is actually larger than the space visible because the overlay is over it. And if I move it with control up, it goes above it. Control B, control down, below it. Perfect. So this is all well and cool, but you still can't see my tractor or my Serato if you're using Serato. I'm going to go ahead and start I'm starting tractor now. And you'll see it on the screen right now, but this isn't actually me capturing 
Serato, yeah, this is capturing my monitor. Now that I have Tractor running, I want to actually add Tractor as a source. I'm going to right click, add window capture, and say Tractor. And the entire inner window, I don't want my mouse visible in case I have my mouse on screen. So now once again, it's on top of everything, I'm going to move it down. I have it highlighted in the sources list. Control and down, we'll bump it down a layer. But it's still above my webcam, I'm going to bump it down above that, below that. And it's still blocking my OBS. So I'm going to bump it once more behind that. I was just blemish here. That causes a problem. However... If I right-click Tractor and open the properties, I can select only a region of the window. If you click Subregion and select Region, a box appears, which allows you to select only part of the window, or anything for that matter. Once you have it set, the box instructs you to pre press Enter, Escape, or click outside, and I click OK. So now you see that I've only got this slice if you look at the red box. Perfect. That's pretty much that's exactly where it should be. You can still see my monitor above it. So I'm going to bump that below my tractor. And now you can still see my OBS cutting this nice little square right here. And my tractor not in the way behind it. And myself over here on the side. I think that's that. If anybody's got questions this will, and they're catching it live right now, this will be on YouTube later. I'm going to edit it, condense it a little bit, because uh, right now it's about 10 minutes long. So, yeah, if you caught it live, big up.